Hi guys. Morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to those of you who've already sent us stars already. Thank you. Um, we're going to try and make a chameleon today. I figured a chameleon would be a quick, easy one to do. Only I was quite wrong. <laughs> it didn't work out very well at all. So we're going to have another go at it and maybe tweak a few things, do things slightly differently to what I just did do on the last one. Also, my, my last one is missing two legs. It still needs legs added. Trying to hold him up to the camera anyway? No, because he'll fall apart. <laughs> You'll have to zoom in on him from a different angle, I think, later. Um, yeah, he, he might fall. Maybe he won't fall apart. He's not finished and he's only got two legs. Serachino. Right, and I know that quite a lot of you guys, I'm going to use the lime You're green. The last one I did was just a mix of different greens and bits and pieces that I had left over. So it's a real random colour. You can mix this paste with food colours yourself. You don't have to use it pre-dyed like I do. I'm just very lazy. And I quite like the colours. I think it's it is nice colours. I think I started with about 35 grams on that last one. Although, to be honest, you know what? It doesn't matter if you've got a different amount. If you want to go bigger or smaller, it would help if I wait while the scales go to zero before trying to weigh it. Oh, 60 grams. We've got more in this one. This is going to be a bigger one. Um, it never actually looks like you've got very much. And then when you start going, you end up with a lot more. Okay, you can see this one's actually, this one's fairly soft even to start with. Sometimes they're very hard and I have to put them in the microwave for five seconds. But this one's fairly soft. Also, if it does get a bit sticky, so if you've got hot hands, you might find it sticks to you. Just put a bit of corn flour on your hands and it'll just stop it sticking to you. I think I'm going to divide it so it's one half's a little bit bigger than the other half. Let's see. I want him to have a really big head. In fact, I'm going to weigh it out just so you guys can have the same. I've cut a bit off each side for the legs. We don't need a lot for the legs. The legs will just be small little bits. Let's get these weighing scales back on again. So I'm going to use about seven grams in the legs. Roughly. And like I say, don't worry if it changes. And do you know what? I might even decide that when I'm making this, it doesn't look right. 24 grams is my body. 30 grams the head. Okay. So I'm taking my body piece first. And I'm going to roll it so we get a long bit for the tail. Now that last one that I made. Let me just get it in shot for you again. I made him as one piece. But it was getting quite fiddly. And when I was trying to work on the head, I was squashing everything. So I think on this one, what we're going to do is divide the, the head and the body so we'll work on them separately just to make things a little bit easier for us okay and apologies my nose is running again a little bit today it's my hay fever it's um still bad okay so it's like a long carrot shape and what we're going to do is try and curl up the bottom bit for the tail now if it's quite chunky it doesn't look like we've got a rounded body and a nice thin tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin out this bottom section and I'm just going to try and widen this bit. So this bit that will be the body, I'm kind of pinching it up a little bit. Can you guys see? So we've got a bit of a ridge there. I'm kind of going to get a split camera so on both cameras now. Okay. But also, I've got a little crack in it there. I'll just try and smooth that down. It's giving us a bit more volume there. Can you see in the body? And then let's just try and stretch out this tail. And I know quite a few of you guys have told me that you've um, changed recently to using the Saracino modeling paste because you found that it is making things a bit easier for you. Um, and then I think it was just because I had it quite soft when I was using it. And it was just so different to the other stuff I was using. It took a bit of getting used to, but now I, I do really like it. Okay, so can you see I'm just kind of stroking it between my fingers? It is stretching a little bit, but I'm not pulling it too quickly because I don't want to break it and snap it. There's quite a few comments asking what I've had for breakfast, which is a bit strange. What you've had for breakfast? Yeah. Oh, that's because you often say you don't have breakfast. Oh, right, yeah. What it's... have you had for breakfast today, Richard? I have, I have had some coffee. That is not breakfast. I'm just going to stretch it just a little bit longer. Just what have you had for breakfast, Ellie? Anyway? I had a hard boiled egg and a yogurt drink. I was going to have a thing of porridge as well, but I didn't get time. Okay, so I think like that. I've kind of curled it this way to the side. You could curl it upwards if you want, but I think I prefer mine to the side. I don't know if I... I want a little dumpy body. So I'm trying to kind of keep my tail folded fairly. And I figured if it was dumpier, it would be cuter. But it might not be. We'll see. 
I'm just trying to get the body a bit fairly rounded. I don't think they actually have a rounded body in real life, but it's, you know, we're going cartoony. It's fine. Okay, so where I've pinched it on the back, what I'm going to do is just use the pointy end of my Dresden tool to kind of nudge it in. Can you see so that we get a little ridge? You can probably see this better from the side than the top, I think. You're on both cameras still. So we're just getting a little ridge. Can you see it, Richard? Yeah. If you just tilt them around a little bit. To so which way? To face the camera. That's it, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is... I was hoping I'd ordered some texture mats um, for like dinosaur skin texture. Was it dinosaur skin? Is that what it was? Dragon. Or dragon skin yeah, texture. Yeah. And I was really hoping they would, come, they would have arrived by now because I really wanted to use it for this, but they didn't. But when it arrives, I will show you um, what it looks like, the dino, uh, dragon texture. In the meantime, I'm going to use some piping nozzles. Like, So if you've got round-ended ones, oops, they're all different sizes. So this is a 3.5 one. And we're just going to use it to put the scale texture in. So we'll go bigger yeah, up on the main big bit of the body. I'm not worried if they overlap, but obviously you can spend ages getting them nice and neat if you want. So bigger ones up there, same on the other side of the body. And I want to add some colours as well to it. I didn't get around to adding the colours on the other one just yet. I actually had planned completely different things for today. I was going to do cookies. We were going to do some jungle themed cookies. And um, it just got so late last night by the time I was going to bake the cookies that I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so I didn't get around to baking cookies, so that's why we're not decorating cookies today. I, don't, I think you guys actually seem to prefer when I do toppers, but sometimes it's nice to do a mix. I'm going to use a number two one just because it's a bit smaller now, and then I can go in between where I've missed with the other one. I was going to say, do you reckon if you move your hand a little bit to the side, that's it, yeah. see it? Yeah. Again, you probably find that you want to go for the smaller one more when we get to, like, the tail. And I haven't been very precise or neat with this at all. Uh, to be honest, it, you know what, it doesn't matter if you're not neat with this, but you can spend much longer than I have doing on it. I've actually covered it quite a lot on the other side of the big ones. Again, if you want to go smaller still, this one's a 1.5. Like, it doesn't matter if you don't have these size ones, use whatever you've got. Okay, head. So I was thinking I was just going to put the whole piece in, but actually I need to save a little bit of green for around the eyes. Like on this one, it doesn't have a very big green bit. Can you see that it goes around the eye? And I guess the chameleon's actually, the main part is that big googly bit, isn't it? Googly bit, yes. Well, I mean, they, they look googly now <laughs> with the googly eyes and stuff. Um, but when I tried it bigger, it, it <laughs> looked really ugly and less cute. So I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, so I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. You don't need much. It's maybe what a couple of grams worth. I'm just gonna roll it to a ball so you can see the size, it's easier. Maltese the size, maybe, roughly. So we'll start with a ball. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll it slightly. If it doesn't want to slip on my hands. Sometimes I can roll a teardrop, no problem. Other times it just slips out my hands. So I'm putting pressure on like that side of my hand when I'm rubbing. Okay. I do it between my hands, but if you prefer, you can do it on the on the work surface. So we get that kind of rounded teardrop slash bud shape. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is we'll work a bit more shape on it. So I think if we try and get, it's probably going to change and squash a bit, and I'm going to have to reshape it as we go along. I'm keeping the back of the head flat where it's going to connect with the body. And I'm going to try and pinch like a little tuft at the middle of the head so it matches with the tuft on the back. And I want it to be like fairly short. I don't want the face to be really, really long. Just watch your hands off a second. Okay. But I might even just put a little dip in there so that the body kind of just sits into there a little bit maybe. We shall see. Might or might not look all right, I don't know, we'll see. Like I say, I'm trying to do it just slightly differently from the other one. To see if we can improve on it at all. So, I don't want like a defined point at the end of the face, it's still fairly uh, rounded. Okay. So eyes, now I'm thinking I might put them... I did them fairly high up on that one, so I'm going to try just going a little bit lower down. So I think if I put my fingers in here, 
Can you guys see that? And then I'm going to yeah. go down here. So I'm going to push in a little bit with my bowling tool just so that I can work out what's what with them. Just flattening the nose still a little bit. I'm just rubbing. I'm really not making much difference at all when I'm doing this with my fingers, but sometimes I just sit and play for ages. Okay, let's give him a, like a bit right, of a cheek. Sure. So I'm going to push in here. I might even take this away from the body for a second so that you guys can see. You can tell my paste is quite soft because it's sticking on its own. If I can you see from the eye socket, if I push in there like that, it gives him like this big cheek. So the eye would be here. I can see that would be like You're the cheek. Top down camera then. Oh. Can you see from there? Yeah. So that would be the cheek. That's the plan. Things don't always work out right, so we're gonna see. So if you've only just joined as I was saying um earlier, I did like a practice one, didn't really work as I'd planned at all. So this one I'm kind of tweaking and trying to do it a little bit different to see if see if we can improve on it. But I mean, really, I mean, it's not nice for you guys to see all the things that I do wrong, but you, yeah. you learn from it. I, mean, I think people appreciate it. I learn from doing yeah. things wrong and you've got to try and adapt it each time. So already I can see that face looks a bit different shape-wise to that one at the moment. <laughs> we'll see if it ends up the same or not in a few minutes. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll work on most of it apart from the actual eyes and then we will um, see what kind of eyes look right. I'm just going to bring that down just gently towards kind of the nose a little bit there and there. So I'm giving him a bit more shape there. Now, I don't know if I ruined it when I put the mouth in last time. Let's just give it a go. I'll probably end up squashing this mouth again. Um, you, you can use a knife if you want. I've just got my little plastic serrat tool here. So I think in, in real life ones, the bottom jaw actually sticks out a bit more, but it was looking a bit weird. So I'm just going to go with keeping it fairly low down. And let's go straight across. Straight across. Right. Let's see, I'm going to start with this one. You just want to push in so it's a bit more rounded up here. You see it's kind of going in towards my cheek. And you see sometimes when I use this, sometimes I just press straight in with it. Sometimes I kind of roll it a little bit. Yeah, it comes together now. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to go through that a bit more with a bit more definition with that one. Again, if you don't have the same tools as me, it doesn't matter. You know, use whatever you've got to hand. I used the white pearls again you know those chocolate pearls those of you that that watch me do the videos will see me using them all the time i actually you can get just white ones as well or like multicolored ones i'm going to use white today though let's see which are most similar in size to each other they are all 10, 10 mil but there's sometimes like a, a bit a little bit of difference in size with them so i'm gonna just push them in there so we can see what it looks like first i'm not gonna add water at first because i might need to take them out i need to change them <laughs> So if I just take a small ball and squeeze it around Ooh, the edge of here. It comes up a lot more of the eye, I think, when I do it this way, though. Let's see. Just tilt it a little more to come, so yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one, though. Oh, can you guys hear the aeroplanes going over? So that's that one. I think this way it'll stick out a lot more. This way it'll keep it kind of further in. It's really difficult to tell until I've drawn the actual bits on the end, like the pupils and iris. It, it looks very, very different. The other way to do it, which is what I did on the last one, was to roll a long piece. It's a little bit thicker in the middle and thin at either end. It might be a bit too long, but we'll see. And the fat bit kind of went towards the back and then the thinner bit. Which do people prefer? Do you want to put him down and face him towards the that smaller camp? one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Smaller one. Or the big ugly one. I, like I say, they're not pressed on in place at all at the moment. They're quite different, aren't they? They're very different. Uh, right, then. I'll, I'll read the comments. Uh, bigger, 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 bigger. This one. Bigger. Bigger. One. Okay. Bigger's definitely got the most votes. Okay, cool. That's fine. We'll go bigger then. So, <laughs> hang on. Let's pull this one off. It's actually it's pretty sticky as my paste today. Normally I can just pull it off straight away. Sometimes like the pack will be really kind of soft and then other times I get the pack and it could be harder. So it varies. 
Okay, so what I'll do is I'll try and push this one on. I know I didn't do this one really neat, did I? We'll try and push this one on. So this is a bit closer to the to the face. See, I don't need to kind of hide the cheek. I want you to be able to see the cheek on there. I feel like it should look in different directions. Should he look in different directions, do you think? So he's a bit even All more eyes are googly looking. If they're not linked together, they can move in different directions. Yeah. So I'm just pushing this on with the back of the tool. I think it is quite warm in here today. My paste is actually quite sticky. You could even just stick the ball of paste on that and then put the eye in, but I'm finding it easier to press it around the eyeball when it's off. Okay, let's try putting it on so he looks in the other direction. Oh, now this one looks bigger than the other one. Hang on, what I'm going to do is so that it goes to one side, I'm going to actually just trim a bit off here. So that if I put it on here, it slopes better against the face there. Right. So he wants the little ridges down the top, a bit like we did on the body. Can you guys see? So from the side, yeah. you'll be able to see those a little bit. You can even Actually, do you know what? We'll press in the there if you want. Oh, that was good. So let's press it on the side here. Like that. He wants two little nostrils. Now I think I'm just going to do we want them high or low actually? Hmm. Just trying to work out what's going to look better. Now I'm going to go low. I'm going to go low with these. So let's go here and here. Yeah. I don't know if you actually look nicer without them. Do you look nicer without them? He's got them now. Yeah, he has got them now. <laughs> okay, so bigger one at first, and we'll keep the bigger circles near the top and just down the center of the nose area. Is it technically a nose on a chameleon? I don't know. So kind of lines of dots going from the eyeball outwards. Can you see it? I'm having to be careful because where are my fingers going? Because my fingers are actually warm today. Normally I've got cold hands. Um they start to smooth the pattern even back out, so you might find that you have to keep, keep going back over it. Mm, green, so, yeah, or green or brown. I don't know which colour is going to be best. I might try both. I'll try both. I did brown on the other one. It kind of stands out more, I guess, if it's a different colour, but um, let's, let's start with this one. Okay, so... Let's... Because he's looking this way, with this eye, I'm going to try and put it further over towards the back. Again, I don't think Camille's eyes actually are anything like this, but it's okay. Don't worry about going all the way to the middle, just as long as you've got a little ring of green on there. I might even go a bit bigger still. A little bit bigger like that. Okay. So these do draw on my little sugar pearls, all right, but if I spend ages and ages on it, the white coating will come off the pearl and go onto my pen. That's yeah. if I spend a really long time on it, though. Right, you're on both screens now. Okay, now this one, which way should he... I'm going to have him looking... Actually, yeah, you're probably best on this one. Because this one's going to be harder to see from above, I think. I know, uh, he's going to torch you. Can you see it there? Again, yeah. they look a bit weird at the moment. But well, you're okay. on both cameras at the moment. Okay. The only thing is, the pearls are quite slippery, so sometimes I end up going bigger, just because the pen kind of slipped. Okay. Watching that, I don't. Um, yeah, he looks weird. That's <laughs> okay. I think, I think he's gonna look really weird. This one, maybe it looked nicer before I start putting this bit on. In fact, I'm gonna do the black bit next. So, we're gonna draw a black circle within, within the green. Okay, so don't color it all in straight away, try and get the outline on first. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Then, what I'm gonna do is leave. A bit that's white so if I draw a circle here and then we colour around the outside of that leaving a dot of white in there like that it's starting to come along a bit more now isn't it he definitely looks a bit crazy looking with his eyes so same on this one I apologize if my hand is in the way a little bit so let's there we go 
and then another little white bit. So draw a circle and then colour around the outside. What do they prove? Yeah, they're rocking. Oh, I thought it was going to be my kid to see mats with my dinosaur skin. I got all excited thinking it was going to be that. Okay, so I think it definitely needs a bit of brown. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of brown around the outer edge of the green if I can. So I see underneath it. I can't get to it. I'm going to turn it up this way. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, it is easier yeah. for me if I can put my head directly above this, but because of where the camera is, I can't get my head above it. And then you can kind of flick little lines in if you want. Just the other little bit. And then I can go back over that with the green as well. I do blend these pens together sometimes, but the only problem is sometimes, well, not sometimes, but it does mean the colours kind of end up on the end of each pen. So like the green will end up with a bit of brown on the end now from me doing this. But they do kind of blend. I don't know how well does it show up for you guys that it's blended or not. Let's go on again on this one. So just around this outside edge. In fact, I might not draw the lines in on this one in a minute. I'll keep it a little bit lighter in colour. Okay. I'm not very neat line at all there. I mean, if you like it with just different, do as you find as that, you can leave it. But let's see if we can drag a bit of that brown in with my pen. Just be careful not to catch the black because you don't want to be blending the black in because it will end up a bit too dark if you get the black in. Yeah, okay. He's got his funny looking eyes. Okay, so like a kitty nose pink, dusky pink, um, pelican pink. Normally I use the claret, but I'm going to go for, this one's a bit lighter than the claret, so I'm just going to try all this, and then if we need to go darker, we can go darker. Can't go wrong with a bit of pink dust, can you? So just a little bit on the cheek. So up near the top of the cheek. And again, I'm just being very careful when I'm holding in because it's still soft. So you don't need to rush to get the colour on. You could just let the head and the body firm up a little bit before you did anything else. There we go. I feel like I might even give him a bit of pink around his nose. Just a tiny bit. I don't know, he looks like he's got lipstick on that's gone on bad. <laughs> if I rub it up the face a little bit there, then it looks less like it's meant to be lipstick, hopefully. Maybe, maybe it does just like he's got a bit of lippy on bad. Yeah. Again, I'm just gonna push into this a bit more. I'm gonna use Try and push it with my ball in tall, just so that I can insert the body into that. You could put a stick on in there as well if you want, but I think that I probably will get away without putting any kind of stick in. Let me get a water brush. I bought myself a new water pot, look guys. I don't know if actually you've ever seen my water pot. I use the little coffee pots of Richard's from putting my water in. What are they called? Those espresso cups. Espresso cups. I bought myself a new water pot cup for for this, just for this. So a bit of water in that, and then we'll press that down onto there like that. So you could even have a bit of pink on his tail, couldn't you? Yeah, it's looking good. Let's see if we've got any questions. And then I think what we'll do is we'll give him some stripes or dots or something. And obviously he still needs legs. I know he still needs his legs. Okay, let's go for a smaller brush. I'm just gonna use the blend in brush. Is it, blend, is it called a blending brush this one or is it called something different? I think it's called a blending, dusting blending they brush. They do look different though, don't they? The two of them. Yeah. Just watch your hand out of the way a second. One of them looks like a baby one. Which one looks like Well, the smaller one. <laughs> Which usually one? Usually when they've got, yeah, but usually when they've got a bigger head compared to the body is when they look more like, I don't know, younger. Let's try this colour. Oh, do I go for something in orange? Oh, I don't know. All these decisions. Are they dotty or kind of stripy? Let's go kind of a bit stripy. You know what I'm gonna try and do? No, Richard, what are you gonna try and do? Richard talks to himself quite a lot. And he asks questions and I presume he's talking to me, but he's not. He's usually talking to himself. Huh. Look at all the little stripes on it. I know I've only done one side at the moment, I need to 
make it match on the other side. I need to brush off all the loose bits of dust as well in a minute. So can you see I always put the dust on a bit of kitchen roll or paper towel? It makes a bit of a mess of your work surface does dust, so try not to get it on your work surface. It does come off, it's just it can take a few a few washes. But a few people say yes to the orange. Yeah, a bit of orange, okay. We'll put some orange on as well then. So let's get our green stripes on and then we'll go for orange. Oh, do you know what? Actually, how do the stripes fit on the face? I hadn't thought about that. I'm just trying to go in the gaps a little bit better. Darken it in there. So, actually, do you know what? I should have just did the face everywhere before I stuck it on, shouldn't I? I'm going to pull his head off his body a second. <laughs> And I'm going to just go in anywhere, you know, that it's quite deep, so it looks shadowed with a bit of this green. Not too much, just a little bit. Actually, it looks nicer from this side, doesn't it? Well, it's nice from both sides. Darker, kind of at the bottom of the eyes. Okay, a little bit more on my brush there. Can you see when sometimes I have too much um, powder on it, just kind of drops on everything. But if your paint's not wet, you can could you brush it off? Yeah, if you're very careful with a dry brush, it, it sometimes comes off. You can actually kind of wipe it back off yeah, as cool. well. Like with a bit of alcohol, but it's got like uh, hypnotizing eyes. Okay, maybe a little bit over here. It's a little bit darker down here, I think. Richard's laughing at himself again. Uh, just, uh, Richard. Um. Seeing comments about people talk, um, talking to themselves, thinking they're talking to you on the screen. <laughs> Sorry guys, and if I'm not answering you back or you're chatting to yourself. I'm loving the crazy eyes. It's funny, isn't it, what a difference it does make though when I add colour to it. Because sometimes I'm too lazy and I can't be bothered with colour. I always plan on adding colour. What a good idea but, from uh, Leanne. Yes, uh, Leanne. Good morning, Leanne. Um, about the yeah, this has been a news quite a lot recently. The the pang uh, the pangolins, is it the pangolin? They like a little bit like they like really small armadillos, I think. How are they? Yeah, they're I getting. Don't, I don't watch the news. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, they've been. I think they're used for like medicine and oh, all they? sorts. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they're the big thing on them at the moment in the press. So yeah, that'd be quite a good one to do. I don't actually even know what they are. Basically like a little armadillo. Oh. Like the ones we saw in America? Or was that actually just an armadillo? That was just, uh, probably an armadillo. I, don't, I can't remember. So I'm just dusting away on here. I'm just adding... But yeah, people are loving the colouring. Like I say, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it It's like everything it does once you... I think the good thing with dust is because you don't have to colour all your... Like a lot of people will... Could spend hours cooling all the paste, couldn't they, to get the effect where a little bit of dust on top and it's yeah, it does makes the same. things a bit easier. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, sometimes if you mix these two together, they will come out with a brown. So we just need to be a bit careful of that. Can you see the orange? Or is my hand in the way? I'm going top down at the moment. It's a bit easier. I see with a bit of orange. You can't even see like the bright green showing through really anymore, can you? It you can does kind of. You can do. What type is that? Just is that just standard orange or is it? Um, um, I know they have a yeah, different variety. Yeah, just orange. And obviously needs it on the other side as well. Sure. I really have got a lot on my brush. 
So I should really have smaller amounts on my brush and kind of keep going over it more times. But I'm just putting a bit on my brush just, just for speed, really, so that you guys don't have to watch me for an entire day doing this. Did you all watch CI at the weekend? I tried to, but I had to catch up at the end of the day. For those of you who don't know what CI is, it's Cake oh, sorry, International. Cake International. Just... Was it Summer on Screen? Is that what it's I called? So, it was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But yeah, that was at the weekend. Do I want any orange on the eyes? Or should, I leave... should I leave the eyes without orange? I'm not sure. They're looking super. Orange on eyes or not? What do we think? I don't want to go overboard. Hmm. No, I'm going to leave the eyes without the orange, I think. You can't even tell that I put pink on his nose anymore, can you now? Yeah, okay. I keep thinking that he's finished and he's not, he needs to let's just pop that head back on that body there like that. So, different size pieces, look. Giant size peas. I might not even much, have much space for his back legs. I'm not too worried if they're slightly different sizes at this point. It's just taking, you know, the bit that I've got left. It's probably maybe a gram in each one, maybe. Maybe not even quite that. Let's see. Yeah, about a gram, just over a gram. 1.1. Like I say, they're all slightly different sizes, but don't worry. What I want you to do is roll out the creases and cracks. Then roll, even one end. Can you see? A bit chubby. So we get like a flat little, like it's like a little spoon. Looks like a little spoon. It's probably a bit long, but we can cut some of that off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut in its little feet. So I think I'm going to use the craft knife rather than the big knife for this. So if I'm going to stretch this round a bit, I think one of the little toes is quite far to the back and then the others are quite far to the front. So it is a triangle. I realise it looks a bit like a straight line, but it's meant to be a triangle. So I guess almost if you imagine your hand open quite wide here, is that kind of shape we're going for there. And then, Watch your head a bit. sorry, let's cut this one like that. I think they've just got three little toes, I think. I could be wrong. Ours has got three toes. Yeah, this one's got three toes. I don't have much space to actually add his leg. Okay. A little bit long. What I'm going to do is cut a bit off the top and then before I stick it on, I'll try and make the other one the same size. Goodness knows where I'm going to get his back legs. So roll one end. This one's got way too much, but it's fine. This rounded bit we're going to flatten. So I'll try and make it kind of a mirror image of this one now. So I kind of pulled it backwards a bit there. And we went across here. Just can you see it? Have yeah. I got it too far backwards? I yeah, forgot I've got it really far over, haven't I, on my board? Yeah, because if I zoom in, I zoom. Oh. You can see it's quite warm and soft because it stretches a bit when I cut it. Now we are going to bend these actually a little bit. So the legs, I think, kind of bend. So kind of a bit like that. Can you guys see? Uh, yeah, just so the fit yeah. would be flat and then we would bend the leg like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that will be the far side. So this one. Bend with the foot. And then here. Like that. I have made it a real tight squeeze to get that in there. So let's see if we can get a bit of water. I know, I should really make the back ones the same size. Yeah, well, I presume I'm... the back legs are the same size. I'm just going to actually just tuck it just behind his head a little bit there. Like that. So you can just about see it bending. Just about. Bit of water on that one. Let's see if we can get it on that. So pressing it tight against the body. It's a bit tricky to get my fingers into this one. Okay. <coughs> Back leg 
you know what? I think because I don't have space on this side, what I'm going to do is open up the tail and we'll put, we'll hide one foot. So rather than making the foot, we'll just do the bend in the leg. So we'll have a little piece like this. That will disappear under the tail and then that bit will stick to the body. Hopefully, that's the plan. So if we stick that on there, and I'm going to use my dressing tool to push it on there. Then let's tuck it down here. And maybe need it slightly less bent. It's not quite working for me, is it this one? Maybe I will have to give him a full foot. It's looking good. It's your hand. There we go. So it's kind of hidden a bit behind the tail. I'm gonna That's right, you're on, bring the, the tail you're on that camera. Like that. Can you guys see that it's meant to be a little bit of a leg just, just there? A little bit of a leg. So we want those two little toes close together, this one further apart. Remember, we're going to bend it here. This leg actually looks like it's a bit fatter than the other ones. I'm going to stretch it out a bit. A couple bit off the top, just because it's a bit chubby. I'm just going to thin the ankle a bit. Okay. Bit of water on the end. We're going to bend the leg again a little bit. Um, let's see if we can work out where the other one is so we can put it in a similar place. Oops. There we go. Yeah, so the only thing is you do have to be careful with the little legs because they're fairly fragile. But like I say, give them a bit of time to, to set and then you can add tiny bit of colour to it if you want. I'm not going to add much colour. I want to keep it so that the stripes are just kind of on the body. Maybe a bit of the dark green just on the top of the foot and in the crease in the leg. Can you guys hear the aeroplanes going over again? We are really near at Leeds Bradford Airport so when they do fly over they haven't, obviously, there haven't been a lot recently. <laughs> no, must be starting to get busy again now at the airport, or busier. There we go. He's done. He's the oddest looking little thing ever, isn't he? He's not, he looks nice. He looks very different to this one, which obviously doesn't even have all its legs. Um, I feel like that one actually needs bright colours. It's like the dark green, but maybe it needs some bright colours on that one, and obviously some legs. Hmm. Trying to spin him around a little bit to off the face that camera. What do you think, guys? <laughs> My goofy looking. <laughs>